Hi calculus students, Ms. Deer back on the mic here with you today and I just wanted to introduce, excuse me, a new operation for you. So we've talked about, we're talking about vectors and we've already introduced the dot product. What does the dot product yield? Everyone shouts in the background, a scalar! Well today's uh, operation is called the cross product and it yields a vector. Now, we can only cross vectors in three space, and you will see why as we start to work with them, but you need three dimensional vectors to find a cross product. So again, like the dot product, the cross product is defined to be the operation that is the cross product. So the formal definition is that if I have vector u, obviously wearing a hat, which is u1, u2, u3, and vector v is v1, v2, v3, then I can cross u and v. And we write it as u cross v. Now because it yields a vector, it is going to have an i hat, a j hat, and a k hat component. And the i hat component by definition is u2 v3 minus u3 v2 i hat. Now the j hat component is always negative minus, now the j hat component is u1 v1 minus u2 v1 plus, then there's the k hat component. I don't know about you, if you're still paying attention, I'm amazed. This is a terrible way to memorize this. And so what I want you to do is unsee this formula and let's put the cross product into a matrix. So we're going to say that u cross v and we're going to then put the components into a matrix. It's going to be a three by three matrix. So we'll put our i hat, our j hat, and our k hat. It matters very much the order that you cross. So we'll put u first u1, u2, u3, v1, v2, v3. Now, in order to find the i hat component, we're going to cross out the i hat column, and we're going to find the determinant of the matrix down here. If you're not familiar with working with matrices, all you need to know is that we're going to do this minus this. So our i hat component is going to be the product of u2 v3 minus v2 u3. Oh, of course I wrote it in the wrong order. Minus, remember our j hat is always negative. So now for our j hat, we're going to cross out the j hat column and we're going to do these minus these. So it's gonna be u1 I'm sorry, u1 v3 minus v1 u3 j hat. And for k hat, we're going to cross out the k hat and it's going to be these. So plus, the only one that's negative is j hat, so it's going to be u1 v2 minus v1 u2. Again, this looks really scary. I really encourage you not to memorize this as a formula, but just to remember this process. So let's work through one together. So if I let vector u be 1, negative 2, 1, and vector v is 3, 1, negative 2, I think I warned you that my vectors are always made up of 1s, 2s, and 3s. So to find vector u cross v, well, I'm going to make my matrix, i hat, j hat, k hat. I'm going to put u first, 1, negative 2, 1, and v is 3, 1, negative 2. All right, so to find my i hat component, I'm going to cross out this column and I'm going to get negative 2 times negative 2, so 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1, i hat, minus, I'm going to cross out this one for my j hat, and I get negative 2 minus 3, j hat, 
plus for my k hat, I'm gonna cross out this column and I get one minus negative six. So my vector is three i hat, uh, negative well, five, negative, negative five. I got this plus seven k hat. In component form, it's gonna be three, five, seven. So now I want you all to find V cross you. Again, I told you that order matters. So it's going to be I hat, J hat, K hat, three, one, negative two, one, negative two, one. And I'll give you a minute to find that on your own. So hopefully we all found that V cross U is the opposite of U cross V. So V cross U comes out to be negative three, negative five, negative seven. So V cross U and U cross V are collinear. They are parallel and they point exactly in opposite directions. The last one I want you to find is V cross V. So in here we're going to have I hat, J hat, K hat, three, one, negative two, three, one, negative two. Right away, just looking at our I hat component, we can see that negative two minus negative two is going to be zero. For our J hat, negative six minus negative six is going to be zero. Anytime you cross a vector with itself, it always gives you the zero vector. Again, we're talking about vectors. So the cross product always yields a vector, and if you cross a vector with itself, you will always get zero.